everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is a very special video because it's the start of a brand new series I don't know about you guys, but in recent times, whether it be because of the pandemic or just everything that's been floating around in the media, I have just felt super off. I started this year with the whole cliche mindset of new year, new decade, new me. And honestly, I thought that by now, I would have, you know, like X amount of subscribers or I would have lost X amount of weight. But with everything that's been going on, I've kind of just fallen into this repetitive cycle of work, sleep, eat, work, sleep, eat, and repeat. For someone like me, it was easy to get burnt out and that's exactly what happened. However, over these past few weeks, I have been trying to claw myself out of this little episode. And that is what inspired me to start this brand new series here on my channel called Hashtag Self Care Sundays. Um, I'm not going to be posting these videos every Sunday, but it will be going up once or twice a month on a Sunday. <laughs> and with this Sunday, the first Sunday of July being the first Sunday... Oh my god, how many Sundays can I say? Um, with this Sunday being the first Sunday of July and it being the first Sunday of the second half of the year, I thought it would be the perfect time to start this, this series. So I wanted to kick off this series with today's video, which is simply talking about how we can finish this year strong despite the many challenge challenges that we had, are having, and probably will still continue to have. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is revisiting our goals and resolutions and the three V's. So did any of you guys look at your calendar this week and think, wow, it's already July? It's so crazy how time seems so warped this year. On one hand, it really felt like time was going so slow with the pandemic forcing us into these mindless routines. But on the other hand, it really feels like time has really breezed on by. At the beginning of this year, I had a list of goals and resolutions and honestly, the pandemic took that list, chewed it up, and took a shit. But I'm here now, fully aware that even though the past 6 months have gone by, I still have just under 6 months left to make this year matter. I've decided to revisit my list and revise, reorganize, and replan. I also want to strip down all my goals and really think about the things that has prevented me from reaching them. To quote Jen Sincero in You Are a Badass, no matter what you say you want, if you've got an underlying subconscious belief that it's going to cause you pain or isn't available to you, you either A, won't let yourself have it, or B, you will let yourself have it, but you'll be really fucked up about it, and then you'll go off and lose it anyway. What I interpret this as is that we keep giving ourselves excuses for why we can't attain certain goals. For example, if my overall goal was to lose 10 pounds by now, but I keep thinking to myself that like, this has been my goal for a while now and I just can't seem to get it, I just won't be able to move forward and really like take the steps to lose the 10 pounds because I'll be in that fucked up no sir mindset. We have to be aware of what we're thinking subconsciously and twist this so that our goals change from what seems like is climbing Mount Everest to what really is biking up a small hill. You know, you still put a lot of work, but it's not as hard as we think it is. The second thing I want to talk about is planning, or specifically in my case, using my bullet journal more often. You may not use a bullet journal the way that I do, but any planning will work, whether it be using spreadsheets or using a planner that you buy from Target, you know, anything that will help us really get our tasks done. Lately, I felt like I did in my early college days where putting things off for Netflix, YouTube, and Animal Crossing has just become a habit. I want to really start to utilize my bullet journal again because not only is it relaxing, but it does help me check things off and get things organized. Bullet journaling allows me to look at my schedule and really break down my week. This month, I'm actually taking a month off from working at Whole Foods. 
I'll still be working at the hospital, but this allows me to focus on resetting myself and my priorities. My weekly bullet journal setup allows me to list out at least one high priority task and one low priority task every day that I'm off. These tasks do not always have to be work related. In fact, I really want to utilize this time that I'm taking off to reconnect with the rest of the world. The next thing that I want to talk about is spending time outdoors. One thing I really want to focus on these next few months is spending time in the great outdoors. I was speaking to my boyfriend the other day about how crazy his job has been. He works at REI and he told me about how at one point his store ran out of bikes. To quote the famous American poet and essayist Ralph Waldo Emerson, adopt the pace of nature, her secret is patience. One of the few good things that has come out of quarantine has been that people are really getting into outdoor activities. When you close your screens and instead open your eyes to the beautiful greens that nature has to offer, it can really change your perspective of life. You notice small things like the soothing sound of river flowing, the warmth of the sun against your skin, or the beautiful architecture of trees. The last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is limiting social media and actually socializing in person. Oh god, I cannot express how much social media has been draining my mental health lately. As much as I love being on Instagram and Facebook to get my daily dose of news and events, especially with the recent events, you know what I'm talking about, um, everything has just been super mentally draining and honestly depressing. I had to take a step back from Facebook and Instagram these past few weeks. Instead of spending hours scrolling, I actually went and socialized in real life. In between both jobs, my free time has always been very limited. But I have managed to set aside a few hours a few times during the week to spend time with the people whose opinions and voices matter the most to me. We sometimes forget that social media is meant to help reconnect us with people who are miles from us. But this leaves those who are actually in close proximity to us hanging. Lately, group outdoor activities have been the highlight of my hangouts. Going for bike rides, hiking, or even going to some secluded beaches where safe social distancing can be practiced have been the highlight of my weeks. It's just been an extra special reminder that spending time with people in real life is always worth more than giving someone a like on Instagram. Alright guys, so that's it for this first video of this series. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. This is honestly truly the type of content that I love watching on YouTube. And I just really wanted to bring you guys along with me as I learn how to find myself, how to take care of myself, and most of all, how to love myself. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for more content from Ness the Mass. See you guys in my next video. Bye!